it is time for a truck tour. We are here at the UCI Mountain Bike World Series Festival in Haute Savoie in France, and I've got the Rock Rider 14 pits behind me as they get ready for cross country today. So uh, let's dive on in. Okay, follow me everybody. Let's not fanny about it. We all want to see a massive truck and they've delivered the goods. It's bustling here because obviously it is race day, but let's dive on in. It is massive in here and rightly so because they have got a huge team of five riders, three mechanics and a ton of support stuff. And I was told everybody sits and eats in here as well as a lot of the mechanics and team helpers staying in here as well. So they'll be on site all of the time. But what we really want to know is what's in the cupboard. So uh, let's get nosy. Right, it's a big old place. It's behind cupboard number one. Let's start at the top. Oh, food, as you'd expect. Probably a large, large amount of food going on in these places. I can only imagine the quantity that everyone is eating here. Behind door number three, stockings full of ice. And that is exactly because they'll put them on them to help keep them cool because it is hot here in Leger. It's gonna peak around 30 odd degrees today. So uh, yeah, pretty toasty. Down to the fridge. Come on down with me, Jackie boy. Let's show the viewers what we've got. We've got milk, very healthy in there. Lots of salad, cheese because, well, when in Rome, or Leger, you gotta have the cheese. And, is it macaroons? Oh, I love a macaroon. Behind me, sleeping area. Although this one's looking a lot more like storage. A lot of water, some red ambulances. We've got camera equipment. I mean, everything is run out of this truck, essentially. And down below, that's obviously the driver's uh, area. It looks cosy in there, but I like it. Very nice, very nice. Little, is that boot bag? What's in here? Let's have a gander. Let's get nosy. The Thermonix. What is that contraption? Juicer. That's a juicer? Damn, they like juice. Okay, moving back through the truck. We've also got a TV in the galley area here so they can check out lines. Team Talks in here. We're going in, Jack. Ugh. Very nice. So, shower room, toilet obviously, little area they can freshen up, clean up after practice. It's really plush. I mean, I remember my first house did not have a bathroom this nice. Hmm, damn, right, to the back of the truck. Okay, come to the back of the truck with me because this, is the honeymoon suite. So the mechanics are staying back here as well. I'm not sure what lucky pair have maybe drawn this one or lucky single, who knows? But this is another place where the mechanics can stay. Lots of cupboards, storage space, all sorts going on. You can see clothes laid out. And this is pretty cool. Le Tricolore, that's Maxi Marot's jersey there, ready to go to one lucky winner. I think that's for a competition actually, which is pretty cool. But other things in here I noticed, you might think, oh, that's just a nice worktop. But you're wrong, there's a pop-up TV there. So it's another place that people can come and chill out, have a little look at just what's going on, maybe watch a movie, take it easy. I mean, it's, it's plush, it's real nice in here, uh, but I think we need to head outside. So let's go have a look. Well, that is a hell of a truck. In front of me, it is hectic. So this is a lot of uh, jersey, t-shirt, bidon giveaways, little sort of VIP zone with all the tables set up and obviously, you know, no team is complete without a coffee machine, especially in France. In fact, one, two, three coffee machines and another gizmo, I do not know what it is, but obviously, you know, a lot going on there. We've got team radios tucked back here as well. So the team are constantly in contact with all, with uh, sort of other team members, feeding information back to riders out on course. You can see it's kicking off because it is race morning, but let's head to the back end of the lorry into the mechanic zone. So. Normally, two mechanics on the team, but this time, because we're in France, we've got a, a lot of riders. We've got five riders in total. There are three mechanics. You can see we've got bikes in stands. A lot of, it's actually pretty quiet. A lot of bikes are out because people are warming up. And we're gonna get to the warm-up zone in a bit, but this is kind of where it goes. You can see very fancy looking toolboxes. Come this way. Someone's got a very neat toolbox. I like that. Yeah, he knows it, look, a little smirk on his face. Very nice, you look, laser cut out, lovely Vera tools, Vera, Vera, Vera. We like all of that. Fancy looking hammers. Yeah, I like that. That's a massive toolbox. I couldn't imagine traveling with that thing. All the work stands and you see all the spare wheels. So everything's labeled up. They'll know exactly whose wheels are for which bike, front, rear, what setups. Mavic, obviously a sponsor of the team. So very, very organized, looking good. And obviously over here, we can see the 
Josh Dubow. We've got everyone labelled down. So they've got all the riders have got their little notes of what's going on. Like I said, communication is absolutely crucial. As is music. Because no pits is correct without a party, right? Okay, this way, to the to the guts of the lorry, if you like. So this is all storage under here. Do you know what? I'm going in again. We're going full Rich Payne nose mode. Okay, Ugh. in here is essentially all the equipment for the lorry. So this is kind of lorry and storage based stuff. Look, ladders to get on top, extension leads, circuit boards. It's all checker plated out. It's all got lights and stuff, boxes of gubbins here, there and everywhere. Someone's road training bike. There is all sorts in here. A lot of like the team sponsorship banners and all, all of that kind of jazz to build the pits essentially is in here. But you're thinking rich. It's actually quite a small space. You're crouching down here. That can't be enough. And you're right, there's more. And there is more. So this area here is for riders to essentially escape and change and get ready. Just a bit of privacy away from the madness that's going on out here. And we can see we've got Josh Dubose sort of zone if you like here a couple of fresh helmets on the top there snazzy i like that all ready to go in here look we've got his bag it's pretty empty at the moment because i'm guessing he's probably wearing all of his kit right so he's out there they're riding and racing this afternoon so they'll be in the warm-up zone which we are going to get to in a mo but there's another truck that we need to go to so come on i said there wasn't much storage earlier because there's this a whole nother trailer where we've got another fridge we've even got a washing machine and a dryer down there because they go through so much kit that they need to constantly keep on top of it. Look, we can see we've got more wheels and spares, so Sevillas, Joshua's, Greta's there. Already built, ready to go, need a little air, obviously, but that is it. And that's where the mechanics are going to keep even more stuff in here. Over this way, however, oosh, we got us a wash area. Got to keep those bikes clean and looking fresh, right? No one wants grubby bikes on the start line. We've got way more tires this ford transit is home to tons more stuff then this one here is lots of spare bikes you can see them all racked up on this really clever racking system so you just whip the front wheels out bolt them to these and they can store loads vertically along here we've got more wheels and tires going on this i mean the amount of tires they must go through is insane i speak to one of the mechanics teo his name is and uh, whilst the team isn't sponsored by red bull that guy flipping is right i mean he has got crates of the stuff there so he must be putting in some shifts this little beauty is where a lot of the spares are kept so here's what we're going to dive into let's just pick a draw shall we oh oh damn there's some money's worth in there we got manitou rear shocks Shh. secret prototype parts that's pretty cool that's like a manitou lockout lever i think that may be coming i mean look there's just brand spanking new sram cassettes what have we got up here more stems damn that's a drop on that look at that fsa slk i mean you gotta be pretty bendy oh what are they those are like 3d printed super secret parts watch this space for that i don't know there's loads of them as well that's pretty cool even linkages in here maybe different linkages for different uh stroke rates i don't know what else we got oh man i've not seen that look at that saddle that's crazy it's got loads of holes in that's pretty cool this is a little treasure trove of stuff in here. And then in the big drawers, of course, we've got power meter cranks. Power, obviously, something that XC riders use loads to measure their efforts. All the different size chain rings. I can see we've got 30 up to 36 roughly here. Tons going on, all ready to be slotted straight in. And of course, look, pedals and more. More mechs, push on grips. It's literally an XC riders treasure trove in here. What's this one? Ah, oh, greases and stuff like that. So that's the final truck for the mechanics. What about for the riders? Okay, last bit of the truck tour. And I bet you were thinking, well, truck. This is trucks. Should have done multiples here. Come on in with me. So this is where riders will warm up before the race. We can see all the bottles getting ready, big tubs of ice. Everyone's rollers are set up. Who have we got? So Sevilla Blancs, Greta Seawalls, we've got Josh Dubose, Mattis Cesaro. We've got the fan set up and it's really cool in, that, in here actually. So I, I wonder if they do anything to try and keep the temperature down. And we've got another truck. So let's head on to this one. Come on, let's go have a look. So this is the last of the trucks tour and it's a motorhome and it's a dedicated motorhome. That's all it is. And this is where the mechanics stay. It's not a mechanics service bit. It's where they just keep literally their mechanics. They stay in here. We've got a bunk up there. We've got a double bed again behind you, behind the camera there. So they're obviously very friendly. 
but it's fully equipped. You know, there's a bathroom shower in here. We've got a big old double fridge freezer, nice little table. It's lovely and air in here as well. And that's, uh, I'll tell you what, let's see if the mechanics fridge differs much from the athlete's fridge. Let's go in, what have we got? Oh, and, the, and there was me thinking it'd be full of beers and sweets. It's not, there's lots of juices, yogurts, squash. We've got a token beer in the fridge and oh, mini sausage on, get in. Lovely, good work mechanics. And let's face it, because the athletes work hard, all the rest of the team work really hard as well. So they all need their sort of zones, their areas to chill out. But I think that's the last of the trucks. It's not truck tour, it's trucks. Well, there we have it then, the trucks tour, not just one, plural. And they really know how to do it here. The Rock Rider 4 team I've put on a show for the Leger crowd here is a really cool, really interesting pits. And actually it's a cross country only pits. There's no downhill, no other disciplines. They are an XC team only and they are crushing it. Looking forward to seeing what they got going on for next year. But that's a wrap. Do you want to see any more truck tours or any more cool stuff from the World Cup in general? Well, do let us know in the comments down below. I'm out of here because racing's going to get going and I really want to watch. See ya.